Hey folks, it's Rezu here. Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to be using Step Effector to create uh, cascading animation looks. Uh, so what I mean by cascading, I have been working on this motion graphic uh, for the... Uh, okay. Actually, let's take a look at this motion graphic from start. Uh, I did this design for a client here it took almost between seven days to ten days I mean this part look at this part here I look at those circles and how they uh, move in harmony together this all done uh, using step effect look at that motions I, I I'm, I'm really it's amazing step effect is so powerful I'll walk you through the uh, process uh, but hopefully you're gonna find it quite uh, useful uh, we're going to be explaining uh, explain the step effector and how to use it uh, inside out so let's uh, for this task actually so let's just get started uh, the first uh, thing is uh, what we're going to use in order to uh, create those circles and elements you have basically two options first of all is cloner and the second one is fracture object uh, the cloner is a bit uh, limited and you have to define the clones and uh, use cloner to actually uh, arrange them in your scene and uh, fracture gives you a bit more flexibility that's why I like fracture and use it a lot um, but uh, if, if you have the uh, you know you have just one element uh, and you want to clone it uh, that would be much more easier but uh, in the example that you saw uh, as you can see we have some bigger uh, examples we have some uh, bigger clones some smaller clones so that's why I use fracture basically what fracture object is in case you don't know fracture object treats all the children uh, that you define for uh, and you put it under the fracture object as clones and you can uh, use the MoGraph effector this list here uh, on those clones okay so let's just uh, let me show you what I mean let's just set up the scene quickly first of all I'm gonna create a cylinder uh, height about two centimeter radius about 500 centimeter I'm gonna hit NB to go to my gross shading lines and the rotation segments let's go to something like 150 and now uh, the trick here is to remember this radius value the height value and the rotation value because I'm gonna create it uh, I create a tube uh, the inner radius was uh, the radius for the cylinder was 500 centimeter so the tube needs at least to be 500 centimeter we go to something like 550 centimeter for the outer radius so it is more than the radius of our uh, cylinder and the inner radius will be something like 500 which is the radius of our tube the height uh, was 2 centimeter the rotation segment will go to 150 centimeters if you want you can actually define some fillets or fillets fillets uh, different pronunciations and uh, this is up to you but we're gonna just uh, have it quick and uh, if you render those stuff I definitely used fillets in my project uh, and uh, just remember those two values inner and outer radius even though you really don't need because you control drag and copy now you got uh, uh, 550 600 I'm gonna go by 50 increments you can go less or more than that or really de uh, define different values but I just uh, for this tutorial I stay uh, on 50 increments uh, and just control drag the objects in order to create some copies and 700 750 and 750 800 centimeters 800 850 and 850 900 900 um, what was the last value 900 yeah and 900 sorry you have to define the outer radius 950 and 900 and hopefully I think we have enough let's just 
let's go to 950 and a thousand and I think we have enough clones and we can have some fun with them now when you have those elements in your scene and you want to use step factor on them uh, what you do you simply go to your MoGraph fracture and you put all of your cloners inside that fracture object okay there we go now those when you define this element to be the uh, children of this fracture object you can simply use uh, effectors and MoGraph vectors on them as you do with simple cloners so let's add the step effector and let's uh, I think we didn't have our fracture object selected so select your fracture object go to your effector tab and make sure you have the step effector on them uh, by default the parameter that step effector affects is the scale let me turn off the scale uh, the parameter that we are going to be working with is rotation so enable the rotation and you can now work uh, in a different axis heading page banking uh, let's go to banking and uh, work with this rotation and you have this really amazing uh, effect here now uh, I can end the tutorial right now but I just want to show you uh, a bit more about step factor and tell you what exactly uh, this uh, the step factor works now the first uh, thing that you can see uh, is the first uh, object the central object this big uh, cylinder here that we created first is uh, getting the uh, this value which is let's go to a round nice value negative 65 get the 60 let's actually go to negative 90 degrees would be much more obvious you can see the uh, cylinder that we have gets 90 degree of rotation and at the same time this last uh, uh, tube here which is this one uh, is not being affected by step factor at all now how this arrangement is works and how you decide which step factor gets most or less effects is defined by uh, the uh, order of these objects uh, when you put this fracture object uh, you put these elements inside the fracture objects basically each object gets an index value okay now this first one is uh, our uh, uh, tube our uh, tube 8 you can see uh, this is our uh, our final tube that we created this last one here okay uh, and this is our cylinder in center as you can see as we go down this list the effect of step effectors becomes more and more okay now imagine if I change this order if I put the cylinder up here and did the same thing now you can see how it actually uh, changed the effect of our step effector and uh, this is one very important point that you have to have in mind I'm gonna be uh, I, I show you uh, in a moment another way to control step factor but as you can see as you change those lists the uh, step factor uh, kind of change its uh, original position and uh, works differently based on the order that you define the objects under the fracture object this is the first task and now uh, you might ask in the uh, example that I showed you let me just uh, change the step factor as you can see no matter how much you change the step factor value the uh, central one in this case uh, doesn't uh, get okay sorry uh, so the central one uh, it's not changing at all doesn't matter how much you change the step uh, factor value now another thing that you have to uh, uh, kind of make sure you know under the effector tab you have this curve uh, effector tab of step effector you have this curve here that define the way that step effector affect the clones we said that the first clone gets more last clone uh, first clone gets the less the least effect of step factor and the last clone gets the uh, most uh, and this uh, kind of uh, behavior of, of step factor is defined based on this curve here you can see you have two points okay 
and these two points kind of are representatives for the uh, uh, both sides of the step effector you can see now uh, in the uh, in start the step effector has a really small amount of effect and as you go through uh, the uh, clones it gets more effect more 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 until the uh, uh, final step gets the uh, more and the most effect of the step effector now you can change this behavior really simply by changing this curve for example if I put this curve down now basically we have no curve and basically step effector is not affecting anything and if I make this first point goes up you can see you can simply change the behavior of the step effector or if you create a point in the middle or really you can go crazy about that and do whatever you want using this uh, curve here so it's very powerful uh, let me control Z uh, a few time until we go to where we started now in order to animate uh, that this uh, as I did if I uh, show you let me just uh, quickly uh, show you the motion design okay there we go now if you take a look at this effect here you can see everything even the central clone is uh, moving and changing and now if you wanted to uh, kind of create something uh, like uh, this if I can get this thing here let's go to cinema there we go you have to uh, uh, animate two set of parameters first of all this plane and a uh, second of all this rotation so let's just uh, make this rotation uh, zero uh, click on the R control click on the circle go to your effector and click on this circle uh, beside your spline and let's go to something like 50 frames and change this parameter here and it doesn't matter really and I'm gonna go to my let's make sure control click on them to set the keyframe and uh, if I change this you can see how it will work now we didn't think set the keyframe sorry so it doesn't really matter let me just change this value a bit so we get a bit more different results let's go to frame 90 and let's change this values and change the step factor whatever you want you can go crazy but you have to really work on uh, kind of schedule and uh, you know what you do you don't go that this crazy but I'm just want to show you how you can actually uh, change the whole thing really easily so I hope uh, this was a useful tutorial and after that uh, just when everything is done when you want to make your motion a bit more uh, smooth and nice you simply can add a delay effector uh, there we go the delay effector to get that smooth motion make sure your mode is on blend actually you can change the mode on spring and go quite crazy but um, I, I don't recommend it okay let's make sure our fracture gets that delay effector and hit play okay now it's really is up to you you know you can see how now delay factor uh, changed the whole motion of the uh, case uh, now uh, another uh, a really good thing that happened uh, I think it was last week uh, EJ Hassan Frites uh, kind of introduced a new plugin uh, it's a free plugin called uh, uber delay uber delay what uber delay does uh, in the, in a regular delay effector if I have this you can see you have to choose between these three modes blend a uh, spring and even what uber delay does is uh, basically you have this uh, the uh, all the three parameters at one go and you can uh, really change them and it works as a, a regular uh, step factor so uh, here is its website uh, it's from Cineversity and I think uber delay let's see uh, you can uh, get to it uh, in the uh, Hassan Fratz uh, idesign.com 
uh, go there and you can uh, download a free uh, copy of it so uh, that is uh, and hopefully it was a useful tutorial uh, and uh, just one important news that I really have to share it with you guys uh, I uh, start working on a premium course next week uh, I'll be publishing it on uh, Udemy uh, in which uh, I did this motion design about five six months ago uh, uh, what I plan uh, right now is to go through the whole process of creating this advanced motion 3d motion design from scratch uh, to the final compositing point and getting the final image rendered it uh, really uh, as you can see it's quite a nice colorful image and uh, I really like it uh, it's very nice very uh, amazing task and it's gonna be a premium course and uh, even though I really try to uh, set the price quite low so everybody can access it I don't know between uh, 20 to 30 bucks something like this uh, I'll be really go in depth for this one uh, and I plan on creating these sort of tutorials and premium tutorials uh, so we go through the scratch from from scratch to the final point everything will be detailed no secrets remain and you're gonna learn so much and I think it's gonna be more about 8 to 10 hours of uh, a premium in-depth tutorial so uh, when I publish it I definitely uh, uh, remind you on my Vimeo page so uh, make sure to follow me and we're gonna have so much fun uh, thank you for watching it was Khedri and uh, see you next time uh, okay folks uh, sorry I forgot something and uh, I thought you might have this question and is how to conform the logo to the motion of your central element or each one of or any one of your step elements step vector uh, and uh, the elements under your fracture objects you can see the logo here is quite uh, conforming to the move to the movement and motion of our central element as you can see and uh, there we go uh, just uh, it's a really simple uh, task uh, uh, whatever object you have let's just make it quick I just uh, let's uh, actually create something quite simple like a cube here and uh, I'm just uh, uh, going to make sure it's pivot point there and now very simply you can uh, make this uh, cube or whatever object logo you have uh, as a, defined as a child of whatever uh, element you want uh, and now if I hit play you can see the cube is moving uh, and uh, conforming to the movement of its parent even though the parent it's under fracture and the fracture is being affected by a step factor so um, sorry for that uh, see you next time goodbye